We don't know yet when Disney's U.S. theme parks, including Walt Disney World, will reopen, but company executives are giving an in-depth look at the measures that they plan to take whenever that date does come. Eric Sandoval shows us what to expect. When Bob Chapik was named CEO of the Walt Disney Company in February, he says he had no idea what he would be overseeing. This devastating pandemic is like nothing most of us have ever experienced in our lifetime. On Tuesday, he announced Disney's theme parks had lost an estimated $1.4 billion, specifically because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But while U.S. parks remain closed for now, Chapek announced Disneyland Shanghai will reopen on Monday. At less than 30% capacity, he says new rules will be in effect. Those include frequent disinfection of the rides, social distancing throughout the park, and the requirement that everyone must wear a mask. It's going to be masks for guests and employees. Right. Uh, the Thank only you. characters that will not wear masks are the face characters, and they'll be at a distance from crowds. The Shanghai announcement comes as Orlando tourism leaders plot strategy. Ensuring the consumers remain. Uh, familiar and, uh, and Orlando remains top of mind. This group is bringing their recommendations to the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force on Wednesday, and Disney is a big part of it. We are confident that we will emerge from this crisis in a strong position.